pretty distinctive that opening it takes me back to the swamp the muppet movie 1979 um my friend fred and i were big fans we watched it a lot and uh, not the movie uh, we did watch the movie a couple of times but but the tv show was just um re cracked up all the time um they have brought us so many enjoyable moments. Jim Henson and Frank Oz and the gang. Uh, this, of course, was created, this song, this is, this is Rainbow Connection, written for the Muppet movie by Paul Williams and uh, Ken Asher. And they just, uh, they nailed it. It's, it's hard to believe that this was like a work for hire. They were told to write a, a theme song for the movie and did it quickly. And anyway, I'm not going to go too much into the history of it. You can, you can wiki the whole thing. But um, now the reason I have a capo here at the second fret, we're going to do this lesson without it because it was, it was, of course, played on the banjo. And the banjo, the way a banjo is tuned, that little opening lick is very easy to play. In, now, they were in the key of A, so even on the banjo, they would have capo to the second fret to be in A. That's why I'm capo to the second fret right now. We're going to do this lesson without the capo. I already said that. But um, it's, really, it's a very easy strumming kind of thing, and we're going to talk about a couple of right-hand techniques, and then we're just going to talk about the chord progression and the difficult part of the song, or problematic it could be, I guess, is if you want to be really accurate with the way it was done in the movie and the way many people recorded it, well, oh, no, Willie didn't do it that way. Um, Sarah McLaughlin, even the Carpenters released a version of this where Karen's vocal was, it wasn't, uh, it was not supposed to be released. Anyway, stay, stay away from that. But um, a very cool thing that happens at the, uh, after the second verse is it modulates up a half step. That ends up being a problem with, on the guitar, unless you can play all the chords as bar chords, which we will talk about that if you want to modulate. But I'll also show you a way to get through this without going into that modulation and just doing the third verse in the same key and, and wrapping it all up. So um, coming up, a lesson on Rainbow Connection. <laughs> 